ओम श्री मंजुनाथ आय नम गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू टूडे सेशन ऑन सुश्रुत समिता अध्ययन विदाउट फर्दर डिले आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल अपॉन डॉक्टर मुरलीधर शर्मा सर एस टी एम सी एड बी टू टेक ओवर देशन वेलकम टू यू सर Let us continue from the point where we had left out in the last session. Uh, we were discussing about the kshira varga, and uh, the common uh, sources of the milk were discussed in the previous uh, sessions. Right now, we will continue further. The next is about the elephant's milk. Hastinya ha mudhula mrushyam kashaya anurasam guru snigdham steya karam shitham chakshu chambal vardham. The elephant's milk is considered as brusha and kashaya nurasa. Of course, practically, I don't know. I have not come across anyone who says that elephant's milk is consumed. So, practically, in the present-day situation, whether the elephant's milk is used or not, question mark. Then, the general rules about the milk consumption would be: Prayam prabhati kam shiram guru vishtam vishitaram ratya ha somogran tvaya vyaya ma bhavata stada. दिवाकर अभिशंदी because of the lack of exercise and because of the soma guna the cold properties uh, and is a uh, because the milk which is consumed at night would be already uh, having that exposure to the sunlight during the day time because the cow or any source of milk would be exposed to the sunlight and thus exercise and because of these reasons shramadham it uh, reduces the uh, exertion it's Uh, relieves from the exertional feeling, and bath not cheva. It uh, reduces the water prakopa. Chakshusham. It also helps in uh, the better vision as such. That's the uh, milk which is consumed at night. Apart from that, if it is consumed in the daytime, by abhishan, the it produces abhishan no guna and ama as such. It's a good guna also. Now these kinds of finer aspects are not really. Uh, tried in the present day situation, and their differences are not really made out in the current situation. So we have to appreciate the detail to which our analytic text would go into the physiological effects of food, the different sources of the food. Today, we put them like that. I'm not sure if it's true. Now, if the milk is boiled, then it becomes more like and I'm not sure it doesn't uh, produce a abhishan the guna if it is boiled. In general, the milk is consumed. Uh, uh, the uh, in uh, the uh, boiled condition, except for the human breast milk, what they do as three or as ten yam am we we hit that dilam. Except for the uh, uh, this uh, uh, breast milk of the human beings, all the other milk has to be consumed after getting boiled. Dharosnam guna mat kshiram vipari tam ato anyatha. Ye dharosna milk is a uh, uh, having more. Uh, properties more physiological properties that was nice uh, the milk which is still warm as it is sucked uh, out from the breast of the or udder of the cow or udder of any of the animal tade atishtam atishtam shitam guru brahma mukhyare if it is boiled too much uh, if the milk is boiled too much and it's converted into that thick paste like it becomes more shita guna and guru brahma अनिष्टगंधम अम्लम के विवरणम व्यसन देत वर्ज्यम सलवणम क्षीरम हे च विकृति कंपवेत ए मिल्क व्हिच हैज अ फोर स्मेल एंड व्हिच हैज सोर टेस्ट एंड व्हेयर द कलर इज डिसकलर्ड और द टेस्ट इज अल्टर और व्हेन देयर इज सम सॉल्टी टेस्ट सच मिल्क शुड नॉट बी कंज्यूम्ड और ए मिल्क व्हिच हैज बिकम प्रेसिपिटेटेड व्हेयर यू हैव ऑलरेडी प्रेसिपिटेशन दैट इज एविडेंस ऑफ द स्पॉइल्ड मिल्क इति क्षीर वर्ग हा दिस आर अबाउट द क्षीर एज सच in the present day situation and many of the younger generation may not know that milk is produced from a animal source and they may have only the exposure to the milk which is presented in the packet form in the current situation the milk is presented in the packet form and you will have different varieties of milk now from a medical personal point of view we need to know what are the differences between these 
Now I have just put in some uh, images of uh, the milk which is available in Karnataka, Nandini, and you have that different varieties like double toned milk, toned milk, homogenized, and special toned milk, standardized milk, and full cream milk. And in the packets also you have some color codes <coughs> starting from yellowish color to a violet color. And the differences are about the energy con uh, content and the carbohydrate content of this milk. The full cream milk has the maximum energy kilocalories, 90 kilocalories, and the double toned milk has comparatively lower, uh, that's yellow pack and the violet pack. There is a difference as such. Rest of the things, of course, these are the basic differences as the chemical constitution of the milk is concerned, as it is presented in the present situation. We need to know about <coughs> these aspects also because when you prescribe or when you suggest somebody, some person to consume the milk, it also depends upon like the physical condition of a person. A person who is having a exposure to hard work and having you want to enhance the nourishment, the energy consumption, it's better to go for the full cream milk or the standardized milk. Whereas if it is a, a patient who is very ill and uh, he needs to have only the nourishment and it's not the energy which is quite important, then the toned to double or toned or double toned milk is uh, preferable. Something like the laghu and guru, the double toned milk or toned milk or laghu, whereas the cream milk is a uh, guru. So that's how it has to be considered in the present day situation. Now, what I have shown here is from the Nandini products. Similarly, if you go into any other farm, these um, uh, milk products in the companies, you will have different varieties and the color codes will be different and the energy contents also are the uh, nutritional information also would be mentioned in their packet and based upon that we need to suggest. At the same time, there is another major issue which we need to be concerned in say about the, the adulteration of the milk. Uh, milk is one of the most adulterated substances in the present day situation market and there are many toxic substances added to the and presented as milk many times and uh, Lots of fatal complications have occurred historically. Now, our uh, uh, food security uh, company, this uh, industry, has uh, standardized the class of the milk, and as per that class of the milk, the uh, it's, uh, uh, FSSA standards, it has given the standards in terms of what we call by toned or double toned standardized milk acid. But these uh, standards are only about the milk fat percentage. I bought minimum and the milk of the SNF percentage, that's a, the total nutritional factor percentage as such. Rest of the things it can vary from company to company. That's about the milk as such. Now, FSSA also has to standardize, given the standards for the source of the milk, as based upon the source of the milk, like cow's milk, as well as buffalo milk, camel milk, sheep milk, and goat milk. These also are uh, from the your business point of view, if at all you are going into milk business and maybe from the commercial point of view, these standards are important, otherwise from the academic point of view, these are not so important, but from the academic point, we should know that there is a standard fixed and uh, whether the market follows that standards or not is a question mark. So that's about Dakshira Varga. The next is about Dadi Varga. Dadi is a, the curse. Now, a milk which is fermented in a controlled situation is a, the dazi. Dazi to madhuram, amdam, atyamdam, teti, tap kashaya namsam, snigdham, mushnam, pinasa, vishamadjara, atisara, rotika, mutra krishna, kashya paham, rishyam, pranakaram, mangandyam, teti. The uh, curds again are classified into three categories madhuram, that's sweet, amla, that's moderately sour, atyamdam, very sour. This depends upon the degree of fermentation. One of the fermented product of the milk is the karasa. That kasha is, though it's amgarasa, it's a kashaya anurasa. The anurasa is kashaya and it has a smitha ushna buddha. It's a useful in diseases like the pirasa, that's a cold, vishama, vishama jwara, even in case of the, the, the fever like condition, febrile conditions, atisara, arochaka, etc. Now, conventionally, in general, people would consider curd as a heavy in general in the folklore practice and they avoid the curds in case of cold, fever, etc. Whereas they prefer hot milk. This is a general convention. But from the textual point of view, 
the curds are more preferable than the milk uh, in such conditions like cold or fever, febrile conditions or artisanal etc. Now this is another of the uh, bit uh, debatable point of view from in the sense like um, uh, in the current days uh, well, folklore practices and folklore perception of about the curse is slightly different from the perception which is mentioned in the text. Now, milk becomes abhishyadi, curse becomes abhishyadi, mahabhishyadi, madhudam, kapha medo vivardhan, kapha pitta kada amlam, syad atyamlam, ratha dosham, virahi, sushta vipinmutram, mandha jatam, chudosha kada, a madhura, a sweetish curse would be maha abhishyadi, it can produce abhishyadi and it enhances the kapha medo vivardhan. So, in the conditions like Venusa, Vishamitura, etc., it's not the madhura one which has given, it should be the amla variety which has to be given. Kapha pitta krita amla, uh, amla rasa will be in enhanced rasa kapha and the pitta. Atya amla, if it is very sour, rakta dushna, bilahi, it produces rakta dushna and bilahi and hence these are not to be consumed in excess. It should be consumed moderately and depending upon the physical condition of the person, you have to either take a, the sweet curd or maybe sour or extremely sour curd rasa. Snigdham vipake madhuram deeparam badavadhanam vatabhaham pavitram ja dhadi gaviyam dhadi pram. The gaviyam dhadi, that's a, the curd prepared out of cow's milk, is a, a, having madhura vipaka and it's deepana badavadhana and vatabhaham, it reduces vata and pavitram ja, it also gives a, a sort of a holiness to the body or rather it's a, a physiologically aspect acceptable as such. So, if at all the curls are to be described, curls of cow's milk is much better than the other source. Dadi Adam, the milk, uh, the curls prepared out of goat's milk would be Kapha Pitam, Lagu, Atakshaya Paham, Durnama, Shwasakashi, Shuhita, Madhneshta Deepana. The Adam, Dadi, or goat's curls would be reducing Kapha Pitta and Lagu Guna. Vata Kshayapam, it's also used in Kshaya Vyadi, Arshas, five of these hemorrhoids conditions, Dunama is Arshas, Shwasakasheshu, in the Shwasakasha conditions also it's used and it's Agni Jeepa. Then Mahisham Dhati, Mahisham Dhati is a buffalo's curse, would be Vipake, Madhudam, Vrushyam, Vata Pitta Prasadam, Balasavardhanam, Sniddham, Visheshar, Dhati Mahisham, Mahisham Dhati is a buffalo's milk would be Madhura Vipaka, Rishya and it releases Vata Vita and such and better enhances the Kapha and Sridha Gur. Then Austrika Mdhaji, Austrika is a camel's curd would be Vipake Katu, Saksharam, Vipake Katu, it's a Katu Vipaka, Saksharam, it also has Saksharaguna, Guru Bhedi, it produces Bhedana, this passage of the stools would be faster or more and somewhat liquefy the stools. And Vata Marsham Kustani Krimin Hanti Udaranta, it reduces Vata, Arshas Kusta, it's Krimi as etc. Then Avikam sheep's curd would be Kobanam Kapavata Nam, it enhances Kapavata, Dunna Namcha Avikam Daji, it also enhances Dunna, that's a hemorrhage should be enhanced. So that's a very interesting issue. A sheep's milk would have it enhance or it will worsen the hemorrhoids, whereas goat's milk would be uh, suggested or recommended in the uh, hemorrhoid condition. Now, these are all the things which you need to be experienced and tried uh, and confirmed. Like, so we don't know, I, mean, I don't have any direct experience of that having difference in the clinical outcome of these assets. The same package of the Vishanti Doshalam. Then, Deepaniya Machakshushyam Vadavam Dajivatalam. Ruksham Mustam Chakashayan Chakaho Mutrapaham Chakaho Vadava is a horses. Horses curves would be Deepaniya and Achakshushya. It reduces the vision, acuity of the vision and it enhances Vata, Ruksha Guna, Ustna and Kashaya as such. Practically, whether you can get that horses milk and then curd, these are all the question marks, we do not know. Now, even in Sushura spirit, there was a practice of preparing the curd of the breast milk of human being too. And this is Snigdham, Vipake, Madhuram, Balim, Sandarpadam, Guru, Chakshushyam, Agriyam, Dorsadnam, Dadhi, Nariyaha, Gunataram. 
the nari vidhi or the currents out of human breast milk is considered as gunotaram superior to others and it has a madhura vipaka snigdha guna balya and it's a chandrapana bruhana as such and chakshusha it enhances the capacity vision capacity also lakupake balasatnam viryostam pratinasham kashaya anurasam nagyaha dadhi vachu vyardhanam the elephant's milk nagya is a elephant's milk would be in a uh, lagu pake it's a valvi pake is a uh, lagu and it reduces the kapha ushna virya and but it's agni nashana agni it reduces the agni kashaya anurasam dadini uktani yani hagavyadini prasak prasak vijnayam evam sarveshu gavyam evam gunottaram the if there are many other sources of the karna which are not mentioned in the ta- this chapter but the dadhi of uh, cow cow's milk uh, current would be the most superior and that is to be preferred vadanam kapakrta snigdham brahmanam natipitta krta kuriya bhakta vilasham cha dadhi yat suparishrutam a parishruta dadhi is a the way water the um, uh, residual uh, that liquid portion of uh, the current be what is a parishruta dadhi is vadanam it uh, reduces vata kapha krita enhances kapha snigdham brahmanam natipitta krita kuriya bhakta vilasham it enhances the epitek uh, now this kind of differentiation of different products of uh, the fermentation of the milk like current the way water and then the rasi that's uh, the butter milk these are all the differences which are really of uh, a indian traditional origin you do not get such differentiation in the western dietary point of view and the, their uh, uh, these aspects physiological aspects of them also are not really studied properly shrutat kshirat yajyatam gunavat dadhitat smritam batapitaharam mutyam dhatvam nimaravadhanam a curd prepared out of boiled milk now in those days there was a practice of preparing the milk from uh, preparing the curd either from boiled milk or without boiled milk so now conventionally everyone practices the preparation of the curd by using the boiled milk so the other aspect is not really practically known now so in social spirit social would say like a, a milk a curd prepared out of boiled milk would be gunavata it will be more act, uh, preferable than the other way and it has a vata pitta ruchya it enhances the taste perception and it increases the dhatu agni bala so it's a nourishing in general dadnah sarah guru krishya vidyay anilashanah vanneh vidhamanashchaabi kapa shukra vivardhanah dadnah sarah is a, the again a wave water only wave water where the without any uh, this uh, uh, the mixing up only that specified the clear portion of the curd as it is fermented is the sara that's the liquid superior that uh, present over that uh, exact english term for that would be quite difficult so if when you have fermentation of the curd at the that the clear liquid which can be easily separated without producing the turbidity in that that is it's not filtered it's just decanted that's the sara and that would be guru rushya vidnye anilashana is the vatanashana and guru and rushya the one uh, is bhiman it improves the agni and kapha shukra vibhavana dadi to asaram ruksham te grah vishtam vivatram deepaniyam lagutaram sakashayam tipram asara dadi is where the curd is just uh, is filtered in a cloth and the solid portion where you liquid that the semi solid portion something like the, what we call as shrikanda not exactly a curd which is filtered in a cloth and the residual portion which is left over that solid portion is asara dadi and that's ruksha grahi vishtambi and vatala deepaniyam lagutaram sakashayam rutipradam sharad grishma vrishanteshu prayasho dadhi garhitam hemante shishireche eva vrishasu dadhi shashre Uh, curds are preferable in the hemant ruto and shishir ruto varsha ruto whereas in the uh, sharad ruto grishma and vasant ruto related warm seasons dadhi is a not preferred whereas in cold seasons it is a preferred krishna klamaharam mastu laghu sroto vishodharam 
ಅಂದಂ ಕಷಾಯ ಮಧುರಂ ಅವೃಷ್ಯಂ ಕಪವಾತನ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದನ ಗ್ರೀನಂತ ಭಿನತಿ ಆಶುಮಲಂ ಚತತ್ ಬಲಂ ಆವಹತೆ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ರಂ ಭಕ್ತ ಛಂದಂ ಕರೋತಿ ಅತ್ಯಂಲಕಂ ಅಂದಜಾತ ತಥಾ ಶ್ರುತ ಕ್ಷೀರಭವಂ ಸರಷ್ಟ ಅಸಾರಮೇವಂ ದಧಿ ಸತ್ತ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ವರ್ಗೆ ಸ್ಮೃತಾ ಮಸ್ತು ಗುಣ ತಥೈವ ಇದು ದಧಿ ವರ್ಗ ಅಯಮನ್ ದಧಿ ಫ್ರಂ ದ ಕರ್ಡ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಹಾವ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ವಾದು ಅಮ್ಲ ಅತ್ಯಮ್ಲ ಆರ್ ಅಮಂದ ಜಾತ ಅಮಂದ ಜಾತ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫ್ಲೂಯಿಡ್ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಲೂಯಿಡ್ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ದ ಮಸ್ತು ಮಸ್ತು ಈಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ದಿ ಈಸ್ ಕರ್ಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲಿ ಬಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಬಟರ್ ಮಿಲ್ ಎ ಬಟರ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ವೇರ್ ಬಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟೆಡ್ ದಸ್ ದ ಮಸ್ತು exact english term for that would be quite difficult something like the lassi which is marketed in the market when you pre- drink lassi that lassi is uh, the curd which is just uh, mixed up or having uh, this curd but not to the level where the butter is separated so that kind of the issue is a must and uh, the shudakshira bhav that different levels of perception saraha clear fluid asara is the solid component so this way there are seven components of the uh, guna uh, this uh, dadhi and they also have similar guna of uh, similar property of the mastu the mastu uh, is trishna klamaharam it reduces the thirst and reduces the tired feeling and lagu shroto vishodhan amlam is amlarasa kashayam rasa madhuram avrushyam it's avrushya uh, unlike the dadhi which is vrushya ಕಪವಾತನತು ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದನಂ ಪ್ರೀಣನಂತೆ ಭಿನತ್ಯ ಆಶುಮಲಂ ಚೇತ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನರಿಷಸ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎನ್ಹಾನ್ಸಸ್ ದಿ ಎ ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಲ್ಸ್ ಬಲ ಮಾಭತೆ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ರಂ ಇಟ್ ಎನ್ಹಾನ್ಸಸ್ ದ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಎಪಟೈಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ನೌ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂ ದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ಐದರ್ ದ ಕರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಬಟರ್ the other differences like whey water etc these are not they, these you do not get sufficient uh, the nutritional information about these kinds of uh, varieties of the preparation but uh, conventional in the folklore practice people do use that so nutrition facts about the curd in general would be it has a, a high calorie value of 111 per 100 grams which is uh, uh, quite high comparatively whereas uh, the butter the pfa standards of the butter comparatively the milk fat would be 99.5% of the fat in that condition whereas uh, the fat in case of the curd would be just 7% so when the fat is separated that becomes butter the rest of the things of course are similar as such and in the butter and as such coliform organisms are not to be presented as per the current situation current standards organisms uh, are, should not be there but in reality when you ferment the milk there will be the presence of the organism yeast as such that's another of the issue bit controversy then the takra varga takra is where the butter is separated from the butter milk in these curds after the separation of the butter whatever is left out so fat free is the takra we generally use the term butter milk takra to madhuram amlam kashayam rasam ushna biryam lagu rusham lagu ruksham agni deepanam ಗರ ಶೋಪ ಅತಿಸಾರ ಗೃಹಣಿ ಪಾಂಡುರೋಗ ಅರ್ಷ ಪೀಹ ಗುಲ್ಮ ಅರೋಚಕ ವಿಷಮ ಜ್ವರ ತೃಷ್ಣಾಚ್ಛರ್ದಿ ಪ್ರಸೇಕ ಶೂಲ ಭೇದ ಶ್ಲೇಷ್ಮ ಅನಿಲಹರಂ ಮಧುರ ವಿಭಾಗ ಹೃದಯ ಮೂತ್ರಕೃತ್ಸ ಸ್ನೇಹ ವ್ಯಾಪ ಪ್ರಶಮನ ಅವೃಷ್ಯಂ ಚೇತಿ ನೌ ತಕ್ರ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಗ್ನಿದೀಪನ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಚರಕ takra is considered as one of the agri ushadi for the arshas hemorrhoids and it's also one of the agni dipana dravya and uh, uh, butter milk is that takra is considered as a, a something very nourishing food and an essential component of the food uh, in this world so and uh, the properties of takra are is madhura rasa amla rasa madhura amla rasa and kashaya anurasa ushna birya lagu ruksha and agni dipana and uh, the, it is used in plenty of diseases it's a patchy for plenty of the diseases almost every system disease 
the butter milk is considered to be tathya. Mantaradi pratak bhuta sneham ardhodakam te yata nati sandra prabhuam takram swadham lum tuvaram rase yattu sasneham ajaram matitam ghoram ucchate. Now, it also depends upon how much of the curdling you have done and the how much of the sneha dravya, the fat is separated. Now, if there is a partial separation of the fat uh, from the curd, that's considered as a uh, ardhodaka. Ardhodaka is a, a butter milk where the curdling is done only partially and the uh, butter is separated partially. Mandharadi prasak bhuta sneham, the sneha is separated partially, that's ardhodaka. And it's nati sandra drova. It's uh, you it that uh, density is reduced by adding water, and that's considered as takra swadamlam tuvaram rase sasneha majaram matitam ghoram chere. A without water, if you prepare the curd uh, butter milk from the curd without adding water, that's considered as ghora. So depending upon the dilution level and the fat contents, they are ardhodaka, takra, or ghora. These are the three varieties. And their properties also, physiological properties also would vary. Naiva takram kshate dadhyada na ushna kale nadur bade na murcha brahmata heshu na roge rakta bhaitike. According to Sushruta, takra should not be given in patients with a wound. So it is maybe enhanced as a sepsis. And ushna kale nadur bade in the ushna kale warm seasons and in persons who are physically weak. And in the patients who have unconsciousness or giddiness and rakta pittaja vyadi, takra is contraindicated. Otherwise, takra is a patyatama. Shita kale anni mandeja kapotheshu ameshja nanga vrote dusteta vayav takram prashasire. Takra is most preferable in cold seasons in agni mandeja and kapaja vyadi or any of those conditions where there is a marga vrote, vayav marga vrote. Takpunaha madhuram shleshma prakopanam pitta prashavanam cha. Amlam vatandam pitta karam cha. Depending upon the taste of the butter milk, if it is madhura, sweetish, then it's a sleshman prakopanam, pitta prashamanam. It reduces the pitta and enhances the karma. Whereas if it has become sore, it becomes vatandam and pitta kara. It enhances the pitta. Vate amlam saitava petam. Swad pittem sashar karam. Tube takram kafe chapi. Vyoshak shara samanvitam. Grahini, Vatala, Ruksha, Durjara, Takra, Kurchika. Now, the properties of the Takra can be modified by adding the substances. If it is Vataja Vyadi, in case of Vataja Vyadi, Takra is given with the sign of Lavana and you prepare a Amla Takra. Very sour buttermilk with the sign of is given in Vata Vyadi. Whereas in Pitaja Vyadi, Swadu, that Madhura Takra is given. And with the shashat karam, adding uh, sugar to that. Kapha biyadi, it should be given with the vyoshak kshara samanjikam. Thick or two, our kshara can be added and the butter milk with the uh, kshara or thick or two can be given. Grahini matala raksha takra kurchika. Takra kurchika is a, another preparation of the takra where the uh, butter milk is further precipitated and the solid component is separated. Uh, now, uh, uh, that's considered as a grahini, it enhances the grah uh, or reduces the fecal output and vata prakopaka. Curd and buttermilk, the differences, of course, we get the nourishment value. The nourishment value and the contents are the difference is only that much, like in the buttermilk, the protein and fat content are lesser, fiber content, of course, is zero in both the conditions, and the calorie value is almost similar according to the present day's uh, assessment. The protein content of buttermilk is lesser whereas the protein content of the curd is more. Fat content also is almost double in curd whereas it is uh, half in uh, the milk. But at the end, calorie value is almost similar, 98 and 99. This is what uh, the present day situation is. But the total uh, dietary value of this uh, curd and buttermilk and their details different depending upon the different varieties that kind of a detail is not known in the present day situation so present nutritionists do not know about these details but whatever we see in ayurvedic text is uh, quite extensive and the details are very practically useful then some more of the varieties takrat lagutaro mandaha kurtika dasi takra jaha guruhu kilato anilaha 
पुष्प निद्रा प्रदर्शन रहा मधुर मधुर ब्रह्म वृक्ष तद्वत पीयूष मोर टव नाउ फर्दर मोर डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट द वैराइटीज आर ऑफ दिस आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस मिल्क मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स आर डिफरेंट वैराइटीज ऑफ मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स मंडा इज द रियल वे वाटर वे वाटर इज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय द फर्मेंटेशन इज नॉट कंप्लीट एंड द लिक्विड पोर्शन इज सेपरेटेड विदाउट really curdling so you will have that carbon dioxide content and that lactic acid content in the solid substance only only that liquid portion is separated that's considered as manda or whey water whey water is considered to be highly nourishing and uh, it will have uh, the comparatively the energy value calorie value is uh, lesser is uh, about 100 ml uh, 500 ml would have only 50 kilo uh, 50 calories as such and the protein content comparatively is a higher fat content is lesser comparatively in whey water as a that's how it is done so kurchika is really the cheese cheese is not the butter where without fermentation the solid component is separated that's the cheese so kurchika is such a substance the difference between the kurchika and the dadhi or the butter as such is a Uh, the butter is prepared after fermentation whereas kurchika is prepared without fermentation and guru kilata kilata is a, again a solid component of the milk separated without curdling but after fermentation is cheese like substance that like solid substance presented in the curd over the surface and without curdling so when you curd the carbon dioxide content and the acidic content will be somewhat separated and you will have more concentrated fat without curdling the fat content will be comparatively lesser protein content will be more so that's the kirata now the it's considered like the manda is considered as more lagu than the tatra so even if the if a person uh, is uh, where the tatra is maybe contraindicated manda can be preferred whey water can be preferred then kurchika dahi tatra na kurchika would be produced as a or rather it's considered to be somewhat heavier punstva nidra pradah it enhances the nidra with the same is in case of the kilata so that is cheese of different varieties they would be considered to be nidra pradah and guru maduro brahma rusho tadu piyush morata piyush and morata these are the two other techniques practically we do not know i don't know exactly like how it is separated but piyush and morata are again certain solid components of the milk the exact technique of separation of these piyush and morata we do not know so is something like the variety of the cheese uh, but there is certain technique which were, which is not known dalana doesn't mention about like as such whereas the real butter the navanita the final product that uh, the butter which we now regularly use navanitam punaha sadyastam lagu सुकुमार मधुर कषायशदी is a lagu and it is used for its delicate constituency madhura rasa kashaya also amla rasa also is present and its shita bija medya deepana hridya is medya butter is a medya important and sangrahi it uh, reduces the output of the fecal conditions pitani laham shasaka samrana shosha arsho antita bham it can be used in kshaya kasa vrana shosha Uh, Arshad disease conditions. Whereas chilotitam is stored butter, or butter which is prepared earlier and stored. Technique of storage of the butter now is different from what our conventional method is. Conventional method of storage of butter would be either in the butter milk itself or in water, and it change the water every day. Whereas now we store it in cold. So cold storage, how it affects again is a matter of uh, debate. Like what has to be done. But according to our conventional methods of storage, a stored butter would be balakaram, brumhanam, shoshanam. It's a brumhana and balakara. 
ವಿಶೇಷೇಣ ಬಾಲಾನ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿ ವೇ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬೈ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ದ ಬಟರ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ನೌ ನೌ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಟರ್ ನೌ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಓಲ್ಡರ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಬಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲಿ ದಟ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ದ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನಲ್ whether fermentation is done or not still question mark many times the unfermented fat is separated and that's presented as butter so whether the exact qualities as mentioned in the text they are can be seen in this butter which is available in the commercial market is question mark but if you prepare butter at home with the conventional methods these facts are true now with the commercial available butter the calorie value is quite high and the fat content is also quite high fat is about 98% and calorie value is also quite high and uh, dietary fiber is uh, very low as such carbohydrate also is uh, very low that's the content uh, about uh, the butter as such now the question comes in now uh, it's a very sensitive question like when the patients ask like whether i can eat butter or not whether butter enhances the cholesterol or not these are all the questions which are presented now what i would say is butter prepared with the conventional methods older methods definitely doesn't have any of those disadvantages of what we consider as a fat intake whereas the butter which is presented in the present day situation we do not know exactly whether it's harmful or not theoretically it looks and some are, there are certain reports like this butter can be uh, enhancing the cholesterol level and fat as such so this kind of observation needs to be verified and confirmed and uh, with some standard protocol but but uh, we can feel is that there is a uh, difference in that and we need to highlight these parts also when you cannot answer the question like whether the butter is pakcha or not butter can be taken in a person or not directly because you need to have these conditional facts also now <clears throat> sushita even sushita spirit the navanita the butter also was extracted directly from the milk without fermentation and that kshirokta puna navanita that navanita butter which is extracted from the milk without fermentation um, we probably something like the cheese it's utkrishtam sneha madhuryam atishitam sokumarikaram chakshusham sangrahi rakta pitta netra rogaram prasadam cha is more nourishing and it's a more madhura rasa as it santanika santanika is a, the cream of the milk Uh, solid portion of the milk after boiling the milk when you get the cream that's the santanika punah vatagni tarpani vrishya balya snigdha ruchya madhura madhura vipaka rakta krita prasadani gurmit cha is a vatagni tarpana and vrishya balya snigdha etc vikalpa yesha dadhyadi hi shrestho gavyo abhivarnitah vikalpa navashishanto kshira virya samadhi jeta the all that varieties of the milk that milk products they can be cons- uh, they are always suitable when the source is from the cows gavya is always uh, better and uh, the focus of all the description is about gavya product with the other animals sources depend as per the properties of the milk of those sources which are mentioned earlier you need to consider the properties like uh, the outcome of this milk so the uh, important is uh, the varieties of the milk products which were being used and the different techniques and the details of those techniques is a quite a uh, critical and quite detailed in analytic test and this shows shows about the concern of the quality of the food in ancient india so in ancient india they were very much bothered about the quality of the food and such a lots of varieties were available which virtually we don't have it now we do not have this kind of way variety so that's another aspect of uh, the food habits and the techniques of preparation of the food in the ancient india of course we will have more discussion on this issue in the coming chapter also iti takravarga the next is the ghasa ghasa is a, the boiled preparation of uh, the heat boiled butter uh, when the butter is uh, heated up to a certain extent then it becomes ghasa Uh, where the humid content of the fat is reduced from the current point of view a uh, is a uh, g is simply uh, the butter minus humidity but practically it's not that much there is some more of the physical additional qualities added over 
Now from the textual point of view, Gritha is Gritham to Madhura, Saumyam, Mrudu, Shita Biryam, Anabhishyandi, Snehanam, Udavartha, Bunmada, Apasmara, Shula, Jwara, Anaha, Vatapita, Prashamanam, Agni Dipanam, Smriti, Mati, Medha, Kanti, Swara, Lavanya, Sokumarya, Ojaha, Tejaha, Balakaram, Aishyam, Rushyam, Medham, Vyasthavanam, Guru Chakshusham, Sreshma Bhivardhanam, Pakma, Lakshmi Prashanam, Vishaharam, Rakshogham, Jaya. The benefits of the Dhrita are quite huge and it has almost uh, uh, these impacts on every aspect of the Vijayavad. Uh, it enhances the digestion and absorption, it enhances the assimilation of the body, it also has an enhanced capacity to enhance the intellectual capacity like uh, the uh, memory and uh, the quick reflexes, smoothie, mati, medha also. So, the scope of Ghrata over the physiology is uh, quite huge and it's one of the most nourishing source of the food. Now, whether the same is uh, applied to the ghee which is available in the market or not, again, the same question comes in like, uh, how you prepare the ghee? So, all that qualities of the ghee would be suitable or would be very correct if the ghee is prepared in the conventional method where the milk is converted into curd by fermentation and uh, uh, butter is separated and butter is heated in the conventional man. The ghee which you get in the commercial market doesn't undergo these processes and uh, the real physiological effect whether the sa it will be the same or not is again question mark. Moreover, ghee which you get in the market now also is uh, quite uh, adulterated. So, we should be very conservative when we explain about the advantages of the ghee in the present day situation. Anyway, Vipake Madhuram Shita Matapitta Vishabham Takshusham Agriyam Bhagyam Te Gavyam Sarpi Gvata Gavya Ghee, the ghee prepared out of cow's milk is having Madhura Vipaka, Shita and Matapitta Vishabha Takshusham. It also enhances the vision as such. And it's also Takshusham Agri Takshusham, very powerful or most preferable sort of the Takshusham to be. Then Adam Rizam, the ghee prepared out of goat's milk would be Deepaniyam Takshusham Balavardharam. Kase, Shwase, Kshaye, Chapi, Bhatyam, Pake, Chatrakrahu. It's a Laghu Paka as such and it's used in Kase, Swasha, Kshaye, etc. Then Mahesha Mrza, Buffalo's milk, uh, Buffalo's uh, ghee, ghee prepared out of Buffalo's milk would be Madhuram, Rattapitannam, Guru, Pake, Kapapaham, Kapapaham, and Vatapitta Prashamanam, Sushitam, Mahesha Mrza. It's a Shita Guna and Rattapitanna, etc. Austram, Camel's ghee would be katu bhritam pake, shofa krimi vishapaham, deepanam kapapakarnam, kusta gulmodarapaham. It reduces the kusta gulma bhyaji and it can be used in uh, with the katu rasa as uh, the preferable quality. Pake lagu avikam sarpihi, nacha pitta prokopanam, kafe anile yoni doshe, shoshe kampe chatadhiram. Avikam sheep's ghee would be pake lagu, lagu ipaka and uh, it's a uh, lagu guna pitta prokop, nacha pitta prokopanam. It doesn't enhance the pitta. Kapha anila yoni dosha. Yeah, it's a preferred in kapha anila yoni dosha and shosha. Then, yekashapam gzam. Yekashapam is a horse's ghee would be pake lagusna medium. Yeah, kashayam, kapha nashanam, deepanam, badham mutran. Yeah, vidya yekashapam gzam. It's a lagu, usna virya and kapha nashana, deepan. Chakshusya magriyam sthriram tu sarpihi. Syad amudopamam vridhim karot vehagne hai. Lagu bhakam vishapaham. Breast milk, human breast milk converted into ghee also is chakshusha and uh, is considered as amudopama. It's uh, suitable for every human being, every person and it enhances the, the strength of the body, agni and uh, lagupata. These are the varieties of the ghee and their advantages. Kashayam bhittam bandha vinnutram tiktam agni karam lagu hanti karyanamam sarpihi kapa kustra Karyan is uh, the deers, uh, so even that curds are prepared from the milk extracted from the deers also in that period and it is considered as a kashaya and uh, bandhavin mutra, tikta rasa, agni karam, it enhances the agni as such. Kshira gatam punaha, sangrahi, rakta pitta brahma murcha prashmanam netra ovehitam. Kshira gatha is uh, the butter prepared out of milk without fermentation and the gatha prepared out of that butter. So, See, you had all that kind of a variety of preparation in those days, quite enhancing, quite uh, uh, elaborate and very difficult to keep all these in mind and then use in the practical situation. 
that's also true but that kshira krishna is a sangrahi it produces sangrahana as such and rakta pitta brahma mocha prasanna netra yoga it means it suitable in the netra yoga sarti hi mandastus madurah saro yoni shrotrakshi shirasam shulagnah bastinasya akshipurneshu upadishade sarti manda is a ghi after uh, the story and the sorghi you will have some liquid component left over the, uh, the surface and there will be solid component left over that clear portion of the ghee which is presented in that liquid component uh, in the uh, container is the surface manda now very interestingly you can have this kind of a separation of the ghee only when the ghee is prepared in the conventional manner if you see the commercial available ghee you won't have this kind of a separation it's just a matter of a paste of fat which you get as a, a commercial ghee as a, so there's again lot of issues about that which is, um, is very difficult to answer but it's considered as madhura sara yoni shrotra akshishra samshula graha bastinasya akshipurana shupadishade for the akshipurana this kind of ghee is a preferred as such now that's about uh, the preparation now uh, the next is a purana sarpi purana sarpi is sarpi puranam saram katu vipakam tirosapam murcha mada gunmada udara jwara gara shosha apasmara yoni shrotrakshi shiram akshi shivagnam deepanam basti nasya purane shukati chare bhavati jatra puranam timira shwasa pinasa jwara kasa nato murcha pushta visha unmada graha apasmara nashanam ekadasya shatam teva vatsara anushitam vridam ರಕ್ಷೋಘ್ನಂ ಕುಂಭಸರ್ಪಿ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಪರತಸ್ತು ಮಹಾಘೃತ ಪೇಯಂ ಮಹಾಘೃತ ಭೂತೆ ಮಹಾಘೃತ ಭೂತೆ ಕಪಘ್ನ ಭೋರಾಧಿಕೈ ಬಲ್ಯ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಮೇಧ್ಯ ವಿಶೇಷ ತಿಮಿರಾಭಂ ಸರ್ವಭೂತಹರಂ ತೇವ ಘೃತ ಏತತ್ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ಯತೆ ದಿ ಘೀ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೆಪ್ ಸೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಸಿ ಏಕಾದಶ ಶತಂ ತೇವ ವತ್ಸರ ಅನುಷಿತ a ghee which is kept there for 111 years sold for 111 years would be rakshognam and that's also called as kumbhasarpi uh, it's a more than a life hack so you cannot keep uh, the ghee, prepare the ghee and keep, prepare a kumbhasarpi for yourselves it has to be only for the next generation so such a ghee would be very useful and it's rakshogna and it's uh, antiseptic and it's also called as mahagrata uh, and uh, ಇದು ಬಲ್ಯ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಮೇಧ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಶೇಷ ತಿಮಿರಾಭಂ ಸರ್ವಭೂತಹರ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಸರ್ವಭೂತಹರ ಈಸ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಎ ಘೃತ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ ನಾವು ದ ಅದರ್ ದ ಇನ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಘಿ ಸೋರ್ ಘಿ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ಮಹಾಘೃತ ಅವರ್ ಕುಂಭಘೃತ ಕುಂಭ ಸರ್ಪಿ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ರೀಚ್ ದಟ್ the other way if it is kept there for a considerably long period one or two years then katu vipakam tedoshavam murcha mada unmada jwara gara shosha apasmara yani is that is are the diseases which can be managed with that it is ghrita varga we will conclude today and with the ghrita the ghee which is presented in the present day situation the nutritional information per 100 grams is it's a having the energy value now again as i said, uh, refer to this issue the issue is about what we get as a ghee is not really the ghrita which is mentioned in the text where you will have that process of preparation of the ghee is quite important it's not only the chemical constitution of these contents and of course from the present day's point of view we also have the standards for the ghee, ghee and that standard which is uh, 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 somewhat having a legal background is a ragmark uh, standard and it's again for a all india there are two standards in agmark standards for all india and the regional and it also varies according to the season winter and summer uh, considering the water content and the nourishment contents of the milk as uh, in this so there's somewhat more detailed standards of agmark than the general nutritional information about the ghee in the present situation so we'll conclude today we'll con- continue with the, the file in the next session if there are any questions we'll try to answer and then right there is one question what changes we can appreciate in a mm, shatadhautagrata 
See, Shatadhautagrata again, as per uh, physiological, uh, from the chemical point of view, it looks like butter only, but uh, it's not the same. Real chemical study of that Shatadhautagrata, I don't know uh, whether anybody has done or not. I have not come across any such detailed study about that. And practically, the use of Shatadhautagrata, of course, we, I have used in a few patients. Quite difficult to get that source correctly. And it's uh, excellent in wound healing. Hmm? Then there is another question, any particular procedure to store ghee grata for a long time? That's considered as kumbha sarpi. It has to be kept in a kumbha. The again, exact details is not mentioned in Sushruta. So we'll have to find some other source. I don't know. So exact methods of storing the ghee for 100 years, how it has to be kept. That detail, I don't know now at present. But we may get it if you search for some sources. Right? right? right. No other questions? Right. We'll conclude today. Thank you.